Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Humane Ed Live. We're live at camp today. I'm Jen Gordon, our Humane Education Manager, and we're going to be filming from camp today and talking a little bit about our special guest visitors that we have with us today. So over here, we have Cindy and we have Cody. Uh, they are members of our pet therapy teams. Um, they've been with us and working with us for about three years now. Um, and this year at camp, they're coming to do personal one-on-one -on -one visits with some of our campers. Got one of our campers here. Welcome. Having fun with Cody. We're doing our best to make sure we maintain social distancing and then we're up close and personal for our love and pets. We're wearing our masks and we're always using hand sanitizer and washing our hands in between. Is it pretty cool to have these pets come visit us? Yep, pretty cool. All right, I want to walk over this way and kind of just do a little pan of camp and what we're up to. We got a camper in a tent, and we got some campers working on, they started out working on pet first aid, they've now created their own imaginary um, veterinary hospital. So that laundry basket is actually an ambulance, um, and the far tent is a rehab center, a tent on this end is actually the veterinary hospital, and they've been treating many patients for the last few minutes. HHS alum um, and our very own Jackie Rossi from our, de our development director and another camper spending time here with George. George is actually an alum from HHS um, and he's here as a special guest. He's not a member of our pet therapy team though he probably could be. Um, he actually has a wonderful story. Um, can, you come around, can you come around this way maybe and so he can smile for you for the camera. Smile, George. Hi, George. Say he's hey, got mom. I'm on camera. And he's got the <laughs> biggest smile, right? So George is a very wonderful, very special dog. He was with us for about four months um, back at our old shelter. Uh, he got adopted in 2018. Yeah. It was, so um, what happened is he was here at our old shelter and was not doing well in a kennel setting. Um, it just he just wasn't doing well. He was very he would, he would circle and pace and stuff like that. So um, one of our partner organizations that we do partner with often, New Leash on Life, which is um, a foster-based rescue, transferred him and got him into foster, and then he got adopted. So it was a great a great way to two two rescues to work together, and it turned out a beautiful happy ending. He now has a pit bull sister named Jan, who is at home jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, George loved nothing more than um, puppies and kids. So, so he, George is a, a wonderful example of resilience and um, the multiple efforts that multiple rescues and individuals can make in an animal's life and in a person's life, really. Um, so what, um, he used to be called Spirit when we had him here, if anybody remembers Spirit. This is Spirit. But Spirit is George, and he's very happy being George now. Um, so what he had, it's often referred to as kennel stress. And being in a kennel, being in a shelter, even one as wonderful and nice as ours, it's hard. It's hard being in a cage. It's hard waiting for your new family to come. It's stressful. And some animals handle it better than others. And George was one of those pets who just really had a hard time. He couldn't settle, he couldn't get comfortable, and the longer he was with us waiting for his family, we saw him starting to mentally deteriorate. And that's when we decided to partner with this foster-based rescue, New Leash, to get him out of a kennel situation and into a home. And as soon as he had access to a family and a couch and a living room and people who could love and dote on him in a more natural setting, he settled down and really um, let us see the dog that he really was. And as you can see, he's a wonderful, calm dog, loves spending time with our campers, um, and he's just a great family pet. So we're glad that we were able to give him the extra time and find him the right resources that he needed to succeed. So he's a great story to tell. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So, he's having a great time, so thanks yeah, for having me. Yeah, yeah, so getting a little warm out here this afternoon, but we're in the shade, he's got plenty of water, and we'll make sure he doesn't get too hot while he's out here visiting with our campers. So that's all I have for Humane Ed today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, we are open for by appointment adoptions right now. So if you're looking for a new best friend, look on our website, fill out our online application, give us a call. You will leave a voicemail.
email, but someone will get back to you as soon as we can. We'll do the initial consultation over the phone, set up an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one time for you to meet your, um, hopefully your new pet, and hopefully you'll be able to come in, find that right fit, um, and bring your new best friend home. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.